Hello YouTube and welcome to anti Gaming, this is Warframe, a game that is so awesome and so complex that I don't even know where to start in describing it. Now I haven't played this long enough to know everything about it, but I've played it enough over the past two years to understand the basics and the more advanced stuff as well. So let's start with what this game is all about. So this is a 3D FPS where I guess the closest I could um, link this to it would be the PS4 Destiny, but except this game is way better and way more complex. Uh, Arsenal right here, I'm gonna actually use my gamepad because it does support gamepad, uh, is where you change your, um, your loadout for your Warframe. Warframe essentially means your costume and also your class. Each of these classes has a very, very specific and very unique gameplay, and each of them has... Do not split the dream. That's right, do not split the dream. Each of them has a specific loadout and a variety of things you can um, add to each of the Warframes. I'm going to choose this one because I um, I created a new account just so I can do this review and also so I can show off what the game is like when you just start it. So here you have two things. One is you can obviously change weapons and purchase certain things uh, with either actual money or um, money that you collect in the game. And two is that you can essentially customize almost everything. You can customize uh, your look, you can customize your you have well additional, thank you, additional modifications. And once you're ready to go, you basically start the game. You choose a mission and you jump in. Now, over the past two years, um, since I started playing this, so many things have been added. This game even has space battles now, and I haven't tried them yet, but it's amazing how much they've added to this game. It's improved dramatically. I actually wasn't sure if this game was going to survive because it didn't have that many players when I started playing, but now on Steam there's at least 35,000 players uh, uh, currently, and I've seen something up to like 50,000 players in one of the um, one of these I logged in. So this game is pretty popular and um, it's absolutely free to play. That You don't really need to buy anything unless you actually are planning to uh, commit a lot of your time to this. And uh, if you do commit time, you may want to, you know, support this game by purchasing some of the more advanced weapons. Even though this is not pay to win at all, it's actually relatively uh, easy to, to get an advance without paying anything. Uh, what I was going to say, to get weapons in advance. Um, Alright, so let's uh, let's choose a mission and we're going to go into, I guess, level 1 too. Because all of the other missions are, I'm not really strong enough for them yet. And I'm going to choose... All right, let's choose this mission right here. This is an active mission we have right now. And uh, so each of these planets that's unlocked to you have sub-missions and levels that you can go through. And uh, the way this game works is um, essentially you either play alone or with a team of players and complete these various quests and various um, levels that are completely randomly generated. Now, this game has a little bit of a grind to it, but it also feels... It also has a bit of a... Oh, hi. Breaking through, I see the shadows of your mind. Good for you, buddy. I'm actually gonna switch to my keyboard for now because I'm using a gun. Um, I usually play with a gamepad when I have... When I have... When I have... My sword equipped. Here we go. Uh, the, the gameplay is amazing. Um, uh, both FPS concept and um, melee combat are really, really fun. Uh, I'm actually let's see, let's see if I can just shoot with my gamepad because my gamepad keeps vibrating in the butt. Uh, and uh, let's switch to our katana. Oh, excuse me. No, 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 no. Where's my katana? Where's my katana? Here it is. Uh, I'm gonna block. And approach him and jump at him and kick his ass. She split? Yeah, alright, good. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you play through these missions that are randomly generated and collect various items, and there's a lot of random loot. And this is where the Diablo concept comes in because here, every time you play a mission, you'll get randomly generated loot just like in Diablo. Oh, oh no, I'm stuck. No, not a good start. Um, the other thing this game has is well, yes, so there is a loot grind, which is a thing. But if you, if you love this kind of stuff, that's uh, something that you may want to appreciate in this game because there's a lot of loot here. The other thing it has is parkour. There's actually uh, wall running, there's a lot of jumping, there's a lot of uh, both wall running and jumping in this game. And a lot of really, really fast movements. So, yeah, I'm going to show what I mean by this. Here I can actually fly through this area, uh, land, and try to sneak up on these guys from behind. Or not. There we go, he lost his arm, and now he's gonna lose the rest of his body. Um, 
So gameplay is super fast, very dynamic, very, very, very fun. I think this is probably the most fun I've had in a um, 3D multiplayer game ever. Not to mention, uh, you know, other games I've played. Uh, and the fact that it's free and so complex really makes me wonder why more people don't play this. Because, you know, everyone knows about Destiny. Everyone knows about some other um, popular... RPG or another I guess this is an RPG game because there are levels here, but popular FPS RPG games I was, uh, is what I was gonna say But not many people know about Warframe. It's actually surprisingly not that popular yet or still uh, It's been two years since its uh, original beta release and that's that's when I started playing and In the last two years there hasn't really been I went the wrong way. That's why uh, or any kind of advertisement about this game. I only know about it because I've tried it long ago and I signed up for the beta and I really, really liked it. Uh, but honestly, this needs more attention. This needs more discussion. This needs a lot more marketing as well because it's absolutely awesome. So uh, let me switch. I'm going to switch to some other weapon. I have... What are these? That's a gun. Switch to the gun and do some a little bit of gunplay. Uh, I also have a bow, I think. Do I have a bow? I think I have a bow. Don't I have a bow? It says I do have a bow right here. I also have superpowers. Um, oh yeah, that's not superpowers. That's my uh, emoticons. My superpowers are accessed by pressing. I think it's this button. No, it's this button right here. So oh here we go. There's bow, the bow is right there. Uh, I have abilities for each of my warframes, and for this warframe, the ability is that I have this. Um, Seth-like skill of electricity. I'm gonna show it to you as soon as I come up on so upon someone. So this is where the loot comes from. You destroy these things, and there is stuff inside. Oh hi, hi. There you are. Okay, that's not what I wanted at all. I wanted to do this. Oh wait, I'm, I'm playing wrong for uh, Warframe. I think this Warframe doesn't actually have electricity, does it? No, it has a teleport. Never mind. Wrong Warframe. The Warframe I was playing before did have elect electrical charge, uh, but yeah, so all of them have a specific skill, a specific um, thing that they can do, and it costs energy, which you can then replenish. Um, as you progress through levels, they get a lot more difficult, and if you play in the multiplayer mode, the enemies you, uh, you fight are a lot more difficult as well. And uh, because this game can be played with both gamepad and keyboard, it's actually both uh, it, both good and bad, I guess, because some of these missions are a lot, or some of these weapons are a lot easier to control with your, um, with your gamepad. Like, like well, I think sword is meant for a gamepad, whereas um, if you play as, as a gunman, it's a little bit difficult to play with, a, oh, nice, nice cut, a little bit difficult to play with, um, with a gamepad, mostly because it's hard to aim. Alright, so let me just finish this mission and, um, and hopefully you get to see what it's like. So, all of this, don't forget, is randomly generated. None of these is actually... Where am I? None of these is actually um, repeated. So, if I were to restart this mission, it would be completely different. And I may have to do some a little bit of parkour to get to that area. Uh, the thing is, I have a mission, so I don't have to really kill anyone here. Or everyone, that is. I just have to get to that waypoint that's right there on the left. Oh, hi. I'm being shot again. And jump, and... Missed. I totally missed. But I cut him into two halves. This guy's dead too. Uh, now, there's a lot of combos here. There's a lot of really awesome um, modifications you can buy that will add a lot of skills to your character. So, even though you only have these attacks in the beginning, uh, the later on you can get modified so that you have some crazy attacks. Uh, so, both melee and um, weapons combat is kind of fun. Now, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to show you how the parkour works, but I can't seem to jump from this wall. Anyway, I need to find a flat wall so I can show you that there's also parkour, which is absolutely awesome. Maybe here? There we go. That was a mini parkour. I jumped from that wall. Uh, so, there's wall running, there's... Oh, there's also sneaking and stealth kills. Oh, no! He saw me, he saw me, he saw me. Uh, yes, I was going to stealth kill him, but I di it didn't work. Uh, so some Warframes play more like the stealth characters, some Warframes play more more like the uh, commando types. And there's a total of, I believe, 10 Warframes right now, and they've always been adding more and more. Uh, when I just started the game, there were only three. Um, and 
the game has advanced a lot since then. Now, I still haven't tried Space Combat, and I would really like to try that, actually, because that's one thing I did not get to try since the new release. And I do want to try it. Every time I kill somebody, every time I do anything in this game, there's experience points involved. Uh, I also get credits, I get um, uh, weapons, I get unlocks and stuff, and there are also achievements that can unlock even more stuff. So, for example, if I, if I get 100 stealth kills, I get an achievement, and that gives me some bonuses and rewards. Um, so, for people that like to collect and grind and acquire things by working hard, this is a perfect game. Um, but just like, a, just like Destiny, I guess, there is quite a lot of things you can unlock, but the thing is, unlike Destiny, I think this game is a little bit more fun. It's not as grindy, and it's definitely not as, um, not as arcadey. It's a little bit more realistic, at least in terms of, um, providing you with so many things to do and so many locations to go to, and most importantly, you actually get to have space combat! Which doesn't exist in, um, ooh, wait, what? Doesn't exist in Destiny. Okay, there's also hacking. If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. Uh oh, really? There we go. Securely hacked. Now, simple hacking, but you know what? Hacking nonetheless. Alright, let's uh oh 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 no. I need to make sure I don't I don't touch this. Okay, nothing else here. Good. Alright, so I'm almost there. Uh, I think this is the end of the mission. All of the missions here are kind No, <laughs> really? That's not what I wanted. I'm pretty sure that's the opposite of what I wanted. Okay, I need to press this again, don't I? Yeah, I think so. Um, so yeah, all of the missions are randomly generated, so you can play the same mission several times, but you always get different results. Oh, I have to go here. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Uh, and there's always several ways you can finish your mission. You don't really have to... It's not a very linear game. You don't have to follow anything. What was that? What was it? I saw something there. So yeah, you don't really have to follow anything. You can find your own path and uh, complete the mission that way. Okay, can I sneak up on that guy at least? Steady, steady, steady. And... Ta-da! Sneak attack. Alright. What did you give me? Nothing. Uh, what is this? Nothing. Where do I go? Nowhere. Oh, I go down. Okay. Uh... Okay, so let's uh, continue. So th remember, this is still the first mission, and, uh, or I guess the second mission, but I, I just started it over. Uh, but, not here. Uh, but um, it, I've been running here f for, what, maybe 15 minutes now? And it's still not over. Uh, look at the size of that map. This map is crazy, crazy big. Okay, that is not, this is not where I want to be. Why do I keep coming back here? There we go. Excellent work. Is that it? Extraction with no alarms. We have everything we came Excellent. for. Get to extraction. Get to extraction. Highly. As every moment passes, the Ascaris burrows deeper, revealing you. Revealing me, eh? Alright, so yeah, the storyline in this game is pretty awesome. There's different factions. There's I think there's like seven different factions, if not more. Um, and each of them has something to offer and also something to demand from you. Now, where am I going? Where's the extraction? Um, and if you're playing this with other people, I think it's um, obviously a lot more fun, but it's also a lot more difficult. It's a lot more challenging if you're playing with other people. And most importantly, you'll actually get to... Uh, you'll get to meet some friends, because from what I hear and read from other people, because I've never really played this with someone that I know, but I've, I've read about people making some really strong friendships in this game. The community here is pretty awesome. It is definitely one of the strongest communities I've actually seen in a multiplayer game. Um, and the fact that it's fun to play, it's actually challenging, it has so many things to do, and it has good mo- Hi. Hello. That was cool. Good multiplayer, good, uh, awesome moves, awesome weapons. I think it's totally worth your time. I mean, it's free to play, you have nothing to lose. And look at the size of this map, it's crazy. Parkour. And a little bit more. Here we go. Is that it? Tell me that's it. Yeah, mission complete. Excellent. Another job well executed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so I get some rewards. Um, I got some mod rewards. Nice. Pressure point. Uh, more melee damage. Uh, more serration damage. Or more hornet strike. Alright, awesome. 
And so these mo uh, mods can be equipped on your Warframe so that you can actually increase uh, certain, uh, you know, certain stats on your on your character. This also gave me a little bit of rank for my uh, my main weapon, which is Scanna, which is I guess like Katana, but it's Scanna. And my Warframe went up in levels as well. And here is actually a proof that uh, there's quite a lot of people playing this because I just got invited into a game by one of these people and they said, uh, let's play together. And so, yeah, not difficult to find people to play with. Uh, but before I joined that game, I just wanted to show you that um, you can actually just purchase a lot of the equipment right off the bat if you just spend real money. Some of it is experience locked because it's only unlocked when you level up. And some of it, like, look at how many weapons there are. Uh, some of it is unlocked by uh, using um, in-game currency. Uh, lots of different primary and secondary weapons, and most importantly, look at how many different frames are available. I was totally wrong about only being 10. I think it's way more than 10 because look at that. All of these are um, frames you can purchase and play as. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I think this is the one I was playing as before, Vault. I don't know why it's locked again, but on my other account, I guess it's unlocked. Uh, you can also have one of these companions to float around next to you and kind of give you a bit of bonuses as well. But these guys also cost a little bit of money. Um, and lastly, there's various gear you can equip uh, to make yourself even more powerful. And of course, um, oh, here's the revives. Here's basically how your lives work. Uh, you have four lives per level and you can get more by purchasing them as well. Alright, so I just joined that game that somebody invited me to after about a minute of just standing around. And let's see how how it's like to play with other people. Uh, here we go. So all of them already have their stuff equipped and they, they're probably way, way more powerful than me. But um, we're going to do our best. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. And I'm going to possibly switch to my katana. Give me my katana. Here we go. Or also known as Kana. And let's slice and dice. So, as you can see, a little bit more difficult than uh, than before. So this is a defense mission where basically there are waves of enemies that come and attack you. And your job is to try to survive and defend this position. Who's this guy? I'm gonna revive him. Hold X to revive. There we go. Um, and we are gonna try to defend this position from all of these dudes. I'm gonna just use my sword because I wanna... Oh crap, I died. Uh, heal me! Somebody heal me! No, don't touch me! Take that! Take that! Take that! Alright, so this is a lot more difficult as I said. Uh, when you play with other people, it gets a little bit, or actually a lot more difficult, because enemies are more armored, they they play really, really intelligently, and the AI in this game is pretty, pretty strong as well. They'll actually try to uh, hide, they'll try to avoid uh, your attacks, and they'll cause a lot of trouble by making your life really miserable. So let's go back and see what else we have here. So I've just completed this mission, leveled up a lot of things. All right, now that we're back on the ship, let me show you some other things that are available to us. So as you progress through the story, you'll unlock these various modules on your ship. Uh, some of them, okay, this is just a regular news. Some of them are, like this one, for example, is not available to me yet, but will be as I progress through the story. There is also a codex here that basically goes through the entire story. It tells you all about the warframes and the uh, factions and enemies and so on and so forth. And here is where the market is. So here you can actually purchase other things that are um, equipable or can be used in the game. You can also pl get platinum, which is... Uh, I need to use my browser for that though, which is essentially the, the credits. Um, or you can also access Prime Access Thinny Magic here, which is essentially uh, different bonuses you get for paying and real money. There's also bundles, of course. So let me look at how many there are different bundles for different prices. Uh, various equipment that you can purchase as well, uh, including pets and, of course, weapons. So if I wanted to buy a new melee weapon, I can just go in here and find. Hundreds and hundreds of different choices. Well, maybe not hundreds, but quite a lot. So I can actually get the dual scanner if I wanted to, which will uh, change my appearance and also change my attacks a little bit. So all of this can be bought with the money that you either make in the game or um, basically using real money. So grinding in this game is one uh, thing you can do, or you can just use 
real cash to purchase some of these weapons. Now, currently I believe there is um, no real PvP battles going on in here, it's mostly co-op battles. But at some point, I'm sure this game will also have a really, really active PvP scene as well. Anyway, so that's it for um, Warframe. I think it's a brilliant game. I think you should give it a try. And the fact that it's free and is not very well known makes me, makes me really sad inside. Go give it a try. And next video, we're going to take a look at the space battles and some other things in this game. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and give me later. Bye-bye.